In this video, we're going to build the Walther's HO Scale Plant 4 Background Kit. As a background kit, it's only a couple inches deep and it's meant to go up against the backdrop of your layout. And these type of buildings will help give your layout the illusion of additional depth. Opening the box and taking a look at the sprues, see that other than the number of windows, the parts count is pretty low. And there's a bunch of extra parts in there we're not going to need. And uh, you can save those for another project in the future if you like. And looking at the pieces for the building itself, you can see the wall section in the lower left isn't necessarily intended to be part of the Plant 4 kit. I guess it's not unusual for Walthers to do that where they'll mix sprues between kits so you'll end up with some extra parts at times. If you decide you want to use that wall section in your Plant 4 kit, uh, the kit comes with plenty of windows and glass for it so that's not a problem. Well, these are the entire instructions, just one page. So you can see where this would be an excellent starter kit for someone if they're just getting into structure building. The kit came with a set of decals. I can't really use these decals on my kit, but I'll throw them in my box of spare parts and I may have a use for them down the road somewhere. First thing I did is I taped the wall sections together and I used masking tape and I tried to pull the joints together as tight as I could. And then after that, I went in the inside and it took some plastic cement and ran a bead down the inside. And you can see with this Plant 4 kit, the fit is phenomenal. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. Since the kit comes with that big wall section, I wanted to go ahead and use it. So what I did is I took some uh, styrene and cut a piece for the bottom to match the concrete base of the main part of the Plant 4 kit. And then I cut another piece and glued that in at an angle. And it shims the bottom of that wall up to the same height as the main part of the kit. And it also uh, strengthens the bottom of the kit so there isn't any warpage and it's a nice straight line. I painted the building with Rust-Oleum Flat Red Primer. And also looking at these pictures, you can see how good the joint fit is in the corners. And I only had to use just a very, very little bit of putty. And it just really a great fit. I made up a wash using acrylic paint. I mixed uh, burnt umber with a little bit of black and gave it a couple squirts of Windex. And I applied it with a cheap paintbrush. And Went back and dabbed in some extra in a few areas to kind of vary the hue of the bricks a little bit. And I wanted to try a dark mortar as opposed to the lighter mortars that we typically use. I painted all the windows while they were still in their sprues. And after the paint dried, I started clipping them out. I used uh, Formula 560 canopy glue to glue in the glass. And what I did is I just squeezed some out on a piece of paper and then used a toothpick to uh, dab the glue in the corners of the windows and then just set the glass in place. Since there are so many windows in this kit, before I started installing the windows, I flipped everything over and lined them up in front of the building and make sure I had all the windows I need. Put them all on a paper plate, flipped the building over and just started installing them. I used plastic cement, but I also used a couple dabs of Formula 560 on the top and bottom of the windows just to make sure they stayed secure. And here I have all the windows in place and we're starting to get an idea what the kit's going to look like when it's finished. When installing the small pieces on the top of the wall, you want to pay attention to the direction they go. Uh, one side is beveled and that side's going to face out. I mixed up some uh, concrete colored paint using just black and white acrylic paint. And I painted the top of the wall and also painted the base of the building. I cut some foam board spacers and glued those to the model. 
Because of the depth of the inside of the windows on the wall section we added, I needed to add the spacers to put the backing we're going to add to it up off of the windows. Wanted to add lighting to the main part of the building, so I cut some styrene pieces to use as floors and then added some 3 millimeter warm white LEDs. I installed the floor sections with Formula 560 canopy glue and I allowed that to set up before I continued. I glued the foam board backing in place and then I also have a piece of styrene on the top and on the sides to cover up the foam board and try to make it blend into the building. Because of the additional depth we added, adding the wall and then the foam board backing, the roof pieces in the kit were now too short, so I had to cut some new pieces from 30,000 styrene. I used paper bandage tape to simulate roofing material, and I probably should have taken a little extra time to make sure all the overlap was uh, uniform, but I didn't. I used 30 gauge wire to uh, make some extensions to the LED leads. When you're trying to solder 30 gauge wire it can be a little finicky. And I used some 8 inch heat shrink and it shrank down fine, covered up the solder joints. And I'm at the point in the project where I need to add a little bit of weathering, so I'm using some pan pastels. I only used a few colors. Here I have some black dabbed on under the windows and what I'm going to try to do with this is create some streaking effects from rain and weather. And I just take a brush and brush it down and, and try to feather it out. And I did the same thing to the top of the building. And here I added some browns and some tans and I grimed up the concrete in the base a little bit and, and dirtied up the door and the windows. And I wanted this to look like a hundred plus year old building that's down in the industrial section of town and maybe it doesn't get as much care as other buildings do. Lastly, I weathered up the entry steps and set those in place, kind of completes the look. This is my first experience using an Arduino. Picked up an Arduino Uno. It has 13 outputs. And I'm experimenting with that a little bit. I'm learning how to write a program for it. And here you can see I have the lights turned on for each of the floors and those are controlled separately from each other. One nice thing about the Arduino is once the program's written and uploaded to it, it no longer needs a computer. Once you power it up, it'll just loop its program. Well, that's it. The Walther's HO Scale Plant 4 Background Kit. It's an excellent kit. It's great for beginners or experienced modelers.